very very dear Henya. You are sitting trying to focus, trying to be mindful in the moment, trying to understand the concepts, especially the concept of I equal C in the moment. But the mind is restless. The thoughts arise and you get distracted by them, disturbed by them. Can you please share the thought about the partner that you wish to have? Can you please share that thought with us? That they have to be, he has to be loving, kind, educated, healthy, wise, And I understand that you, you don't have a partner as of now. No. Hmm. So the desire about the qualities that your partner should possess, which is a beautiful desire, but let's see what is, what is it doing to us. Would you call this movie that starts running in the mind A dream or reality? A dream. Is it relevant in the moment? When it is running? No. What is relevant then? My peace. Useful? The dream is not useful. Just because we want a certain type of a partner does not mean that we will get one. It may happen, it may not happen. Conducive to peace? No. Are you out of it? So beautiful. How do you feel when you're out of it? When the dream ceases? When it's not there? I feel relieved. But we will still continue because there is still the possibility that it will come back. There is a momentum of the past habits that needs to be undone with practice. What are the likes and dislikes hidden in this dream? I would like I would like to be happy. In the dream that you get distracted by I would like my partner to be loving, caring, healthy, wise. I would dislike if it does not happen. And that not happening, it has two possibilities. One, you don't get a partner. Two, you get a partner who is not like what you want. And three, third possibility, you get a partner who is like what you want. Any of the three can happen. But that, whenever that will happen, only then it will happen. Right now, the likes and dislikes, they are only causing restlessness in the mind. What other feelings you arise, see arising in the mind when the likes and dislikes are there.
I don't quite understand the question. When the desire, the preference that my partner should be like this, should be loving, should be caring, should be healthy, should be wise. When this is there in the mind, do you feel centered, mindful? No. Peaceful? No. Do you get a feeling of a dearth, lacking something? Yes, definitely. Is there also a feeling of helplessness? Do you want to be peaceful? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Remaining lost in the thoughts, can anybody ever attain peace? No. So if we need to make a choice, a clear choice between peace, freedom on one hand, and likes, dislikes on the other. And the latter, it's just the mental formations of likes and dislikes that you are attaching with. It has nothing to do with what will actually come to pass, what will actually happen. Who knows what will happen out of the three possibilities. If you are asked between peace and likes and dislikes, you need to go for one. What would you prefer? The incompleteness equations, I plus a loving I, partner. Yeah, I plus a loving partner equal completeness. I minus a loving partner equals incompleteness. Do you think if this desire gets fulfilled, there'll be a cure of the mind, the restlessness will cease forever. No. What is your own history? Even when I had a loving partner and my desires were fulfilled, I had other worries and desires. Hmm. Because the mind is very clever. It will not let you be peaceful. This is called Maya. The illusions, the illusion that something else, somebody else will make me complete, somewhere else I will be more complete, it still keeps lingering in the mind. Are you attaching with something permanent? Is incompleteness ever conducive to freedom? No. Do you want to be free, dear? Yes. What is the price that one needs to pay for freedom? Loving myself. Yes, dear. The X factor, the X factor itself is the price. Detaching from it. Instead of seeking, rather being. What are the conditionings here? Just correct me if I am wrong. Loving girls should get loving partners. Supportive partners who can understand them, who can take care of them, who can support them emotionally in every possible way. Is it right? That's how I want it to be, but it's not reality. Yes, dear. What is the reality then? That 
loving girls can have unloving boyfriends. They may get, they may not. Another conditioning is, which is below this one, more subtle than this one is, you get your completeness from your partners. Is that true? What is the reality? How many married couples do you know in your life? Who are your friends, relatives? Lots. How many of them you think are really fulfilled and complete? Peaceful? Maybe none. Maybe none? <laughs> The same with us also. We also know so many of them. <laughs> the thought itself is wrong. The partners are not meant to give you completeness. The partner, it's like a fence also. Your mind becomes restful. That's one advantage. Second advantage, Living with him, with his whims and fancies, you learn to grow in acceptance. With her whims and fancies, how else will you learn to grow? How else will you grow? Everything is conducive. Actually, that does not happen with anybody. But if that happens, you will become very complacent. You will rot, perhaps, if that happens. If you are attached with the conditioning that a loving partner is going to cause completeness, and we know, also know of several cases, as I was telling in the other class, individually, they are such beautiful human beings. But living together, they are not able to do it. Kathy Dave was such a good example. I tell you another one. When we came to this center, that was in 2008, earlier we were in McLeod Ganj, and then we changed the format. Initially we kept it for 23 days. Later on we made it 15. In our first retreat in this center, there were five girls. One from India, one from Sweden, one American, one British, and the last one, Suruchi, I don't remember. From all over the world, from everywhere they, were there, they, they came. And towards the end, after 23 days, all of them made a decision, promised themselves, each other, that whosoever is going to be our partner, he has to do this retreat. Whenever we will come across one with whom we feel we can, we can marry, we can live together, he will have to do this retreat. And out of the five, only one was able to send. And that is also a, another story. When that boy came, nice boy, he was a photographer, the Indian girl. It is easy for them to come. So, doing the work with him for a few days, we understood, both Suruchi and me, that this is not the right, right choice. But they were in love with each other. So, we didn't say anything. Um, the marriage took place. They could not stay together for more than, I think, two, three years. Sattva and Sattva, good combination, otherwise remain single. That is, by the way, the conditioning. 
others can cause fulfillment in me if you are attached with it how do you feel miserable give me one reason that is not stressful to go on holding on to this story of yours no reason give me one reason to drop it loving myself so beautiful if you drop it how do you feel peace with myself mm -hmm. who is stopping you dear myself my attachments to the thought hmm you know i feel they are not more than say 100000 boys males living today on the planet who actually wish to embrace i equal c all of us all the others are chasing by god's grace if one of them comes in a life and the spark also takes place who knows he comes and the spark is not there but if the spark also happens may you live with him helping him caring for him growing together but if that does not happen that ought to be accepted with grace i always tell girls boys don't make a wrong choice out of your impulsiveness better remain single is it your business the question actually is can you help it that this person should come in your life can you help it no what is your business then to remain peaceful yes dear so the other conditioning about yourself is actually your business that's not a conditioning we do the work on the conditionings when we are interfering in somebody else's life but when it is about ourselves we need to have a plan we need to think about it instead of doing the inquiry what is needed in such cases is thinking having clear strategy having a plan that this is going to be my life now onwards and this is what i am going to be proactive about this is what i am going to do in order to sustain this state of freedom of peace in me thank you so much sweetheart thank you always always be happy